a little bit of shaking up. Um, I don't know if I've missed it before, but one of Jolie's special abilities um, during her free action, if she's in the space with an enemy, the enemy chooses a card and hands it over. So that happened um, up there. The white player decided to send over the spectrum scanner, which just kind of does away with invisibility when using a ranged weapon. Uh, Jolie's aim is terrible, so that's not really going to affect anything. Uh, and again, just for the kicks of it, Jolie put on the interrogator cat. And Frost Dancer had to reveal all her cards. Not that it matters, but I'm playing, you know, like I don't know what's going on. Um, I thought about moving her because, and again, I was hesitant to move her, and then I read her card. She can't be shot out for Opportunity Fire, but I thought I'd leave her there anyway. Um, maybe she can get another card out of the deal, potentially. Uh, we'll see. Um, Genghis did use his spines against Cassie, but missed. What else happened? So Melina was up here. She was, or I guess she was over here. She was kind of stuck in a tough spot. Reaver has two cards, which she doesn't know what they are, but kind of had her pin. She can't get this way. She had to go this way. Or, I mean, if she did go this way, she knew Grid at least had that 44. Uh, she took her chances with it, and she really got hurt. She took four damage. He amazed the damage roll. Um, so, four of her five health are gone. Um... She's kind of in a bad way because she's still within his range. Um, so I'm going to put that there and put this here to remind me that... I guess, actually, that's going to come up first. So I think that's really all that happened uh, worth noting. Oh, there was a chain reaction up here. Cassie beat the challenge she faced. Sanya did not well against Hercules with her blue strength against his white. Um, the black team really doesn't have any great characters. I like Melina. She's she's fun to play with. Um, Sienna's pretty good, but Titanium Renegade, I, I like what he's doing, but he, he's so slow. Uh, oh, that, that I did want to note that. He used his free action to get a card out of the vault, decided to stay there, so apparently there's something else in that vault that he's wanting to get. Anything else of note? I don't think so. Free actions. No one's going to do anything. Fire. Grit is going to fire. I'll do that. Uh, incorrect turn sequence which is fun. So he is yellow against Melina's uh, yellow. So seven to hit. He hits her. Uh, yellow damage against her blue shield is nine. If he rolls So he needs a 9 to squeak. Really, unless he rolls a 12, which would destroy his weapon. She's dead. Yep. Uh, and that's a pass anyway. So he does 3 damage. Melina is gone. And that is a bummer. I don't know if you can see that. There's a dog hair under my plexiglass. That is a bummer. Man, it's my girl. Okay, we continue with the white turn. 
I don't know why Kit didn't... Oh no, he got dismissed there. That's what happened. I think we'll send Kit over to the Modern Labyrinth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reaver. We'll continue down here. One, two, three, four, five. Frost Dancer. She really has no reason to stay there. So, yeah, we'll send her into the Ancient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Genghis, I think we'll just follow her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Grit shot so he doesn't move. The Wee Wax. They're kind of tough. Not sure what to do with them either. I think with their location, though, we'll just send them one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And Sanchez is going to stay parked. No melee, no adventuring. Lots done on the black player's turn, and none of it good for them, really. Um, didn't much get anywhere. Sanchez fired at Matt Fade as he was trying to creep across there. Had him dead to rights. Um, so Matt left whatever he was carrying out with him in the field. Um, Cassie forgot about Kit's varmint rifle. She wanted to jump on his back. Uh, she got there, revealed a katana, but on the way, uh, he shot her, did two damage. So she's at three of her four now. Uh, she did do one damage to him. Um, she failed, which is damage minus two, but that's three, so she, she nicked him. So... Four out of eight dead over here. One close to dying. One not able to do much. Um, I guess two not able to do a terrible lot. Uh, the score right now is white has one, two, three, and black has one, two. So points wise, they're still in it, um, depending on what happens up here, this turn, and there in two turns, they might not have any points left. Um, and probably if one more character dies, they might just call it. It's not looking terribly good for them. So what does Kit do? Oh, you know what? Um, I forgot about Kit's armor. It still would have hit him, though, for the fail. She rolled a four for the hit. Um, so she hit him. Anyway. Um. Yeah, what does Kit want to do? Does he just want to hang out and... Fight it out. Probably not. If she gets a good hit on him, he's dead with those three damage. So that's probably not worth it. With her being so close and her movement of nine, he'll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, maybe try to keep her out of there. Oh, you know what? He'll just move there. 
in case she does try to move into the labyrinth, uh, he'll have opportunity to fire on her. Reaver, we'll still send him down here. There's probably not a ton of reason to, but rather than trekking all the way back out, if he can get in, um, he's probably the best to face this yellow against green plus its future. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, not sure what Grit wants to do. Since he's down there, he's going to use his Surgeon's Kit and heal up to three. He'll, he will heal the two that he had. We'll move Gawain and then the Wee Wax. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If White can get ahead there, um, hand up here, it's going to be pretty tough. Sanchez is going to hang out. Does he have fire on anyone? He's going to shoot at Jolie, actually, um, for fire instead of moving. Uh, he's white against her green. That's nine to hit. If he hits, her damage is pretty terrible. I mean, her uh, armor is pretty terrible. So nine to hit. He hits. So now it's green against red. And nine to squeak for damage. Nine. Roll to six. That's hit for damage. She takes three. That's going to her, put her in a tough spot. Although, if she moves this way... I don't know. Let's take a look. Oh! I'm wrapped up in a cord. So... If she moves there, line of sight is blocked, so she'll actually be okay next turn. Sorry about that. Uh, and we still have Frost Dancer and Genghis up here. We're gonna send Genghis in first. One, two, three, four, and she'll be back here. Send him him in because his strength is. Oh, her strength is actually better. Um, so it would be even. Hmm. Is it worth having her go to? No. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. There's no melee. Let's see. Okay, Cassie didn't have opportunity fire. Jolie didn't, because they're all up there. All up there, all up there. Nope, no opportunity fire for black. We will adventure. Uh, Genghis is green against white. That's five, so he needs a six to squeak this Herculean challenge. Oh, just missed it. He fails and gets dismissed to two, so he's in range to try it again. Probably should have stacked it up. Oh well. And Cassie is dead. Um, she went after the wee wax kind of last ditch effort. Um, and they got her. They did, f or she did four damage on them, but they have twenty four health, so that's not. That's not making much of a dent. So let's see what the white team wants to do. We'll move Frost Dancer up here. Oh, Sanchez was able to shoot at CNN, but he didn't hit her. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Um, the Wax aren't strong enough for the Katana. Um, or the Mount, so they'll just leave them. One, two, three, four, five. 
Sandra stays. We'll move Kid in. He doesn't have any reason to stay in there. Genghis will move this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll send him up here. And he has line of sight um, on the off chance he's able to hit Jolie with his uh, weak aim there. All right, let's see if Frost Dancer can beat this thing. Her blue against white. Blue? Yep. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I did it right last time. So she's at a four. Nope. It's so close, though. She should have begged for mercy, but oh well. She comes out here to three. I should put that there to remind myself to beg for mercy. Sienna's going out there too, but she's not, she's not going to be able to beat that thing. Gawain gets Kung Fu Punks, a flurry of yowling and arm waving, but you doubt they should be wearing black belts. Gawain, the noble sir, has a yellow melee against this red. So he's going to be doing quite well. 10 for a squeak. Oh, just barely passes. That does advance, and he gets a card. Is that his first card? Ooh, a grenade. That's a fun one. Throw his throws. Decent green. Um, he's strong enough and he's smart enough. And he gets dismissed. Two, four. I'll put him there. So let's look at the board state. Um, having three characters left is really a hindrance. Um, the one positive thing going for black right now is Titanium Renegade is heading up here to tussle with Sanchez. Sanchez really doesn't have anywhere to go um, once he's up there, but after a turn he can get by him. There's only four movement here against uh, Sanchez's six, so he, he can run away. And he has a first aid kit. I really... So the points are black two, white four. Oh, we didn't do this. Let's do this real quick. Heave two and board. Your bon... I, I know how to say that. Bonomi, bon, bonom, Richard is setting, settling at the bow, so you need a new ship. I'm tied up in the story and not able to, uh, I guess, draw upon my vocabulary. Um, this is Kit. So he's blue against blue is seven plus one for the age is eight to squeak. He fails. Eight. Yeah, it's a fail. He's dismissed to four. So back to the discussion. I think at this point, and Tony hears the weeping, I don't think Black has a real chance to come back. Um, I was planning at this point to, I guess, turn around. Um, So, like I was saying, um, I think at this point, black really doesn't have a chance to come back. White sitting pretty strong over here. No one's in danger of dying. They can slowly pick off the rest of these guys. Um, and honestly, I don't feel like making that struggle for them. 
I don't see the point in it. Um, so yeah, I think I think we're gonna end it here. I hope it was informative and enjoyable. I know I had fun. Um, so we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.